always found a way to get results. If Don in Darwin Nunes was a finisher like Roddy Fowler, he'd be worth 150 million pounds and 450 goals a year. You go and stand in there, it's a completely different outlook on the game. When Jürgen has with England, you have to try it. We are, we are wedding time. I've got to ask you about current affairs on the pitch and how Liverpool are going this season. Kind of surprisingly well almost because they had that rebuild over the summer. Are they in a title challenge this season? Absolutely, and it's not surprising to me because I know Liverpool have always looked at the players and come in and see the way they play. Of course we're in a title challenge. At the moment, there's still a long way to go. But I, I just feel there's a lot more to come from this group of players. So last year, the midfield was obviously the problem, but we resisted the earth just to sign midfield players for the sake of it. And in the meantime, we could sign some wonderful strikers of, of a right age. In, in, in Gakpo and in Diaz and in Nunes, as much as we spoke about midfield, and this year we've addressed that problem, so it doesn't surprise me at all. The forwards have been smashing the goals in the last two games, not scored, but we still found a way to win every game. Found a way. If you remember it when we won the league, we always found a way to get results, and I still think that midfield area that we were all worried about is still not function 100 percent and that's what's good about this team. Who would have known much about Dominic Sabaslav before? I'm sure City wouldn't have looked at him Arsenal, um, but because of the way he plays can fit into what we want, that's what we do. So yes, it's pleasing, it's not a surprise and of course we are we are well in the title time. Yes, we've got a great chance. Yes, we can play better than some of the games and we're sitting second in the league. So we have a great chance. Busy period now in December. We come through this and people are saying, oh, we're still in with a chance come the end of, sort of, in March and that. No, we get through this busy period up until Christmas, into the new year. We're still asking that question. We've got a great chance. And one of the other players who there's a big debate around in the team is Darwin Nunes. Sort of up and down at times, isn't he? And he misses chances, but the team seems to create more chances when he's in it. So, so how do you feel about it? Well, he creates chances himself. Um, if Darwin, Darwin Nunes was a finisher like Roddy Fowler, he'd be worth £150 million and score 50 goals a year. He can do what Erling Haaland can't. Erling Haaland can do what he can't. But in terms of what he gives us, he'll score goals. He won't be a, like a one-in-two finisher, but he'll score goals. He'll work hard for the team. He chases back. In fact, the second goal was because he tackled back and be in. I don't see another centre forward doing that. So we're looking for perfection in all our players, are we? But in terms of what he has and what he gives us, He's fine. We haven't you, got an issue with him. Do you think there's more to come as well, though, in terms of that finishing? He'll probably click a little bit with that. Well, he's never going to be a Robbie Fowler. Of course, as I said, if Matthew Letizia could run around like Peter Reid, he'd be the best player in the world, but he's never going to do that. As Darwin is a striker, just a little bit more composure. Had a great chance against Sheffield United went in. And to quote Kenny Daglish, a little dink over the keeper as he come rushing out. But Darwin's always got to put his foot through the ball. At times, just a little bit more composure and a little bit cuter. Darwin Nunes, I don't think, is necessarily going to be as good a finisher as Robbie Fowler, but he does things Robbie Fowler can't. So, yes, he can improve, but the first thing that, and everyone says that, if he could finish like uh, Ian Rush, then but what he does, scoring the goals he scores, yes, he may miss a, a, a few chances, but with what else he gives us, that's good enough to make a challenge for the league. So I'm not looking for perfect, perfection in any of the players. Brilliant. We talked about midfield there, and there seems to be almost a, a clamour to get Trent Alexander-Arnold in there permanently. I mean, Liverpool's form since he was in that sort of free role has been better than anyone else in the Premier League. So, do you think, you know, is there a need to put him in midfield? Well, is he happy where he is? I'm fighting against a lot of people who put him in there. And what works, if you look on the coaching aspect of it, him coming in there, it's a numbers game. You think about the numbers that people have in midfield who are marking our midfield three. So Trent coming in here is a bit of a surprise element. People don't pick him up, so he's free. You go and stand in there, it becomes a completely different outlook on the game. I don't think he's more creative in midfield than he was a right back. In fact, the crosses he put in, the balls he put in, the creativity that he hit with his cross his pass, equally as, as, as influential from a right back position. Um, obviously with our midfield, Problems that we've had, they're trying to, and maybe they want to release maybe Dominic Slobber to go forward and he supports McAllister. But he still trades a lot from a right back position. As to whether he's going to play then you buy a right back to be like him to get forward and support Mo, we don't know what the situation is. I think it's working at the moment. I think there will come a time when Jurgen, as with England, will have to try it. And it might work, it might not work. But at the moment, things are going along all right. It's working. John Gomez has even slotted in there, whether he's played left back or right back. John does a similar thing, so, you know, if it's not broke, 
don't try and uh, don't try and fix it. It's just it's working quite good at the moment.